It is December 1st, 2025, and we're tracking light southeasterly winds, a better chance for rainfall over Kauai, and dropping large surf out on north and west facing shores. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. Not much going on out there today. It's been very sunny, very beautiful across the state but a little bit humid out there. We're seeing southeasterly winds, light southeasterly winds across the bulk of the state, and we're starting to see some cloud cover that's moving in from the northwest. This is um, some convergent bands that are starting to move closer to Kauai. The actual front is off towards our northwest. You can see that frontal boundary right here. This front is going to continue moving closer to the western half of the state as we go throughout Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, giving us a better chance for rainfall right now, seeming to be mostly over the Garden Nile over Kauai and not a lot of rainfall is expected to make its way down the rest of the island chain. You can very clearly see the comma look of this mid-latitude cyclone out there. It's very very textbook look of what a mid-latitude cyclone looks like and again the spinning the counterclockwise rotation out there it's very pretty to look at on the satellite imagery but again this cold front's going to continue moving closer towards the western half of the state and because of it we'll continue to see southeasterly winds over the next few days so here's what we're tracking a first alert for you a high surf advisory out on north and west facing shores again we did have a high surf warning over the holiday weekend oh, by the way i hope you enjoyed your thanksgiving that high surf warning has been been dropped it is now a high surf advisory light southeasterly winds like i was just mentioning are going to continue going forward and a few pop-up afternoon showers are possible because of these lighter winds we might see the development of some afternoon sea breezes out there here's the only alert that we have up right now the high surf advisory for north and west shores until 6 a.m on tuesday the north and west shores of Kauai, oahu molokai the north facing shores of maui and also the kona coast of hawaii island again these are going to continue until 6 a.m on Tuesday. The big picture, the overall weather pattern here, I want to show you what's going on. You might be wondering, why do we have these southeasterly winds? It has to play into, or has to do with how this low pressure system is playing into the atmosphere. We've got a ridge off towards our northwest. It's pretty weak right now, directly over us. And because of the rotation of air around this high pressure system and air is getting pulled up closer to this low pressure system right here, we're seeing southeasterly winds across the state. And that's going to continue as we're going forward throughout Tuesday and Wednesday. This low pressure system the front associated with it continues to push closer to the western half of the state so mostly for Kauai mostly most of the ran, rain associated with it is going to be from those from those convergent bands that are moving ahead of the actual front and then we start to see high pressure, the ridge developing back to the north of us. We'll see stronger easterly winds on Thursday and Friday. A more typical wind speed, probably between 10 to 15 miles per hour, maybe getting closer to 20 miles per hour at times. Long range, we are looking at another front that could be moving in, but I don't want to get too much into the details there. Let's move up a little bit higher in the atmosphere. This is the mid-level flow. Again, you can see this trough that's off towards our northwest developing that mid-latitude cyclone. This is going to continue dipping down from the north Pacific going forward. You can actually see this play out pretty clearly. This is what's giving us that front. It's continuing to develop the low pressure out there. It's going to get closer to us and then it's going to start to retreat back towards the north. It's also going to pinch off this uh, this disturbance that's going to move down towards the southwest. So again, this is going to move away from us. It's not going to be moving over us. So we're not really seeing too much of a chance for rain. Also, there's a disturbance that could be developing off towards our northeast. But again, that's going to change a lot in the weather models. You do see that trend as we're going into the upper level flow, taking a look at the jet stream. Here's the jet stream dipping down from the northern Pacific right here. It's also helping develop that mid-latitude cyclone, that low pressure system that we're seeing out. This is going to continue moving off towards the north. It's going to move back up towards the northeast we're going to see a disturbance get cut off from the jet stream here and move down to the southwest this isn't going to impact us much and then also we could see a disturbance off to the northeast but this is likely going to get pulled back up towards the jet stream as we're going into the weekend you can see all of this play out in our first alert future cast again here's our front i'm going to zoom out a little bit further so you can see what's going on so here's the front off towards our northwest this is going to get closer to us the strongest rainfall the heaviest rainfall is going to stay pretty far away from us we're seeing the very tail end of the cold front which again is pretty typical here in hawaii and it's going to continue to really just move over on Kauai. Not a ton of rain rainfall from the rest of the state. And again, it cut off that disturbance. It's going to continue moving off towards our southwest. You can actually see it here. I'm trying to 
pull the arrow right here is going to continue moving off towards the southwest really not impacting us much and we'll likely won't see much rain from the disturbance that could develop at the mid and upper levels off towards our north east let's take a look at the local view i do want to show you this uh, at least in a closer look so you can see what's going on i'm going to add a few pause points here we're going to move through this slowly throughout the rest of this evening we're going to continue to see a few clouds moving in from the west and then also going into Tuesday, pretty dry. Tuesday afternoon, we could be seeing a few pop-up showers, which could be over interior and leeward areas out there. But overall, a mostly dry trend. And then you start to see the rainfall going into Wednesday afternoon, mostly again for Kauai. This is Wednesday around 5, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. going into the overnight. You're seeing some potentially some heavier showers out there. And then the front starts to retrograde, move back up towards the northwest. And a more typical windward and Melka shower pattern as we're going into Friday, Saturday, and this weekend. Taking a look at our winds outside right now, you can see those southeasterly winds. We're actually seeing southerly winds over near Kauai out of the southeast in Lihue around 12 miles per hour. Overall light southeasterly winds out there, and this is going to continue going forward. Just taking a look at our first alert wind cast, just moving into Tuesday. This is around 3 a.m. Pretty weak winds in the overnight. Southeasterly winds Tuesday afternoon between 5 to 10 miles per hour, actually allowing that fog that's still seeping out of Halima'uma'u crater over at Kilauea. Off towards the northwest, some the foggy skies are expected for the Kona coast of Hawaii Island and over near Maui, especially East Maui. I'll show you that in our VOG forecast. Let's just actually get into that because the latest run from UH Manoa on their VOG forecast, you can actually see a lot of the VOG going forward. You can see creeping up towards the northwest and still pretty thick over the Kona coast of Hawaii Island, creeping up towards Hilo as well. At the end of this, Potentially some higher concentrations of VOG over near Hana and along Haleakala. Of course, VOG across the entirety of the state, so you might be able to feel it, especially if you're sensitive to it. Alongside the light winds, again, we've been tracking pretty large surf out there. We had our first extra large swell of the season over the weekend, but as we're going into Tuesday morning, surf and shoreline forecast right here, north and west facing shores are on the decline. 9 to 12 feet on north facing shores, high surf advisory. That ends again at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. West facing shores are also on the decline around 6 to 8 feet. But you can see in our swell forecast, you can see the energy again is going to rebound a little bit. We've got another swell moving in from the northwest, not as large as the one that we had over the weekend moving in on Wednesday and Thursday another one could be moving in on Friday let's just take a look at our island by island forecast kind of a copy and paste forecast as we're going into the next couple of days southeasterly winds pop up afternoon showers but mostly sunny out there otherwise over on Kauai we've got mostly sunny conditions calm winds getting a little bit more south easterly a little bit more southerly in the afternoon on Oahu 84 degrees in town waking up around 70 degrees Kaneohe waking up around 70 as well mostly sunny out there a few pop-up showers like you're seeing over in Wahiwa in the interior portions of the island a few pop-up sea breeze showers allowing uh, just a little bit of rainfall out there, but overall, again, mostly sunny. Maui County, mostly sunny. Calm winds becoming easterly, a little bit southeasterly at times over in the afternoon. 84 for a high temperature in Kahului tomorrow. Waking up around 71 in Kailua Kona tomorrow. Still fog is the main thing along the Kona side of Hawaii Island. Making for some beautiful sunsets out there, though, but it's still something that you need to be aware of if you're sensitive to the sulfur dioxide and other fumes that come out of the volcano. 80 for a high, high temperature over in Hilo tomorrow. Waking up around 65 and pretty sunny over the northern portions of Hawaii Island. Again, a few pop-up showers are still possible out there. Okay, today is December 1st, and you know how I've been saying that hurricane season is coming to an end. Well, it's officially the end of hurricane season. Hurricane season, the last day was yesterday, so I thought, since we're still tracking the tropics, let's take a look at the uh, hurricane season that we had this year. NOAA and the Central Pacific Hurricane Center forecasted one to four storms out there, and we only had four. We had Hurricane Iona, which passed to our south. You can see that's from July 27th to August 2nd. Tropical Storm Kelly, July 28th through the 30th. The big one on everybody's mind, again, was not Hurricane Henriette that moved up towards our northwest, was Hurricane Kiko, August 31st through September 10th. Again, this storm looked like it was coming closer to us, but because of the development of a trough, a cutoff disturbance at the mid and upper levels and actually got pulled up towards our north and uh, actually stayed pretty far away from us but we got some pretty large surf out on east facing shores so it's pretty cool to see some of the waves over uh, on the windward side of Oahu some surfers out uh, at Kailua 
Uh, it was pretty neat to see all of that coming in. Uh, really not a, a lot of impacts out there, however. So again, uh, just kind of a nice weather pattern over the next couple of days. A few pop-up showers. Vog expected over the eastern half of the state. And again, a better chance for rainfall throughout Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for Kauai as that front is moving in. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. We do a no-hype weather forecast video like this every weekday on this YouTube channel. And I'll see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.